Good day to you, Maggie. The boy see you here. Now, a little bird tells me you're a bit of a fan of only fools and horses. <laughs> I do hope you're receiving treatment for that. <clears throat> Well, as a keen student of the show, you will know that I am a pucker mason. And a fellow I know down at my lodge called Adam Joy has asked me to help him out. <laughs> well, he wants to know uh, that, as you are his significant other, if you would do him the considerable honour of becoming his wife. Well, what about that then, eh? Answers on a postcard, please, as soon as possible. Here's to you! <laughs> Cheers! Hello Maggie. I hear that you have a boyfriend called Adam. He's told me that you catch fish. Well, you're starting to learn. And to be honest with you, you're not too shabby. Mm, I've never really seen the point in fishing, you see. Because you have to catch them and then you've got to throw them back. Because it's against the law to eat them, I think. But, you know what? I'm much more interested in the other thing that you're very, very good at, and that's growing vegetables. How do you do it? I can't believe it. I was growing vegetables, and do you know what? It was like a daily battle every day. I was out there battling against the slugs, and do you know what? There was holes in all my veg, so do you know what? A patio day for it. I'll probably have potatoes coming through my patio soon. <laughs> but do you know what? On a more serious note, I know that you have got the most amazing boyfriend. You're very, very lucky. And I look at your name and I think, Maggie Smith. That's a lovely name. But do you know what I think? I think Maggie Joy sounds much better. And I happen to know that Adam desperately wants you to be his wife. How can you resist that? Do you know what I mean? That's just like the best proposal ever. And you know what? I'd love to come to your wedding. I'd love an invite. I'd love a hat. Please say yes. You're one lucky, lucky, lucky lady. And I hope that you two are going to be really, well, I know, you're going to be really, really happy together. Well done. Let me know what goes on. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Good afternoon. Surprise, eh? I believe you and Adam are soulmates, you know. Will you do the honour and marry Adam, please? Even your spirit guy, George. Sam's been talking to him and he approves. So go on, walk together and have a good life. See you later. Maggie, it's Chesney Hawks here. And his daughter. And I and my daughter, Jessie, and my son, Indy. Uh, will you marry Adam? He's asked me to ask you. So go give him a kiss and please say yes. He says he loves you very, very much. You, and are, you are his one and only. You are his one and only. Yes, he said that too. And uh, he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. He also wants to thank you for taking a risk on him and moving all the way. From Barnstable. Um, all the way to his town just to be with him. Yes, and away from your friends and family. He must love you very much and I'm sure you, well, you must love him very much. So go say yes. Go and give him a kiss on the lips from me. Actually, that sounds weird. Um, <laughs> give, him a, give him a mighty handshake from me and a kiss on the lips from you. All right. Congratulations, you guys. Bye. Hi there. I'm Gareth Gates, and I would like to ask you, Maggie, um, will you marry Adam? <laughs> okay. Yo, what's up, Maggie? This is Coolio with The Flow, speaking on behalf of Adam Joy. He wants you to know that since the day he saw you at the Olive Branch pub, he couldn't live without you. He ate your mashed potato, and now he wants you to join him in Gangsta's Paradise. Maggie, will you marry Adam? If you would, he'd love you until the day both of you die. Shaka Zulu, man. Maggie Friff, would you please do me the honor of marrying Adam Joy, he's asking you. Yeah, he's a bit late, but he's got there in the end. <laughs> Only you can tame that man under that suit. Oh yeah, you're going to Tenerife, it's a bit of a naughty place, but you will have a nice time if I know you. See you later. Hi Maggie, Duncan James here from Blue. I heard you're a little bit of a fan. Now, Adam has personally come up to me and asked me something very important to tell you. He wants to know, will you marry him? You say yes. Lots of love. Cheers. 
Maggie, hi, it's Adam Ricketts here. Um, Adam has asked me to send you a quick message. Adam, good name, by the way, buddy. Um, slightly out of the blue, uh, he thinks she's the most beautiful woman in the world, and he was wondering if you would marry him. Oh, isn't that sweet? He loves you ever so much. Um, he thinks you're his soulmate. He thinks the most beautiful woman in the world, and he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. So would you please do the honour of marrying him? I insist on being a bridesmaid. Lots of love to you both and hope you have the happiest day of your lives when you finally walk down the aisle and a lifetime of happiness thereafter. Okay, bye. This is a message. I love these messages. This is a message to Maggie Frith. Will you please marry Adam Joy? Marry him! I can't wait to have a good wedding! Marry Adam Joy, he's a good bloke! Right? For me, the Boominator! This is beautiful! King Kong Jedi Monkey Boom! Yes! Mary Adam Joy! Boom! Oh, you didn't know. Well, Maggie Frith. And I'm pretty sure I got that right, but then again, up until I was 10, I thought Johnny Cash was a patron. So, anyway, I'm making this video message to you, and it's from Adam Joy. And I'm, I'm supposed to tell you something, and then I'm supposed to let you know something, but you know, I'm from Lizalick, so we kind of just do things our way down here. I ain't going to say it's always right, but it ain't never wrong. But anyway, I got some advice for you. So you got to listen real close, Maggie. It's ironic that's my little girl's name. So sometimes this hits closer to home than most people realize. But you need to remember the things I'm about to tell you, because I'm going to give you some nuggets of wisdom via rhymisms. Did you know that a hundred percent of all divorces start with marriage. That's a fact. That is a fact. Learned that at Liz Lake University when I was stunt whipping chickens. I've learned that there's two theories to arguing with women and don't neither one of them work. Now Adam, that one was for you. Adam, I've also learned this and this one's for you. That there are two people in a relationship. One is always right and the other is always the guy. That one will keep you out of a lot of trouble. This one will keep you out of a lot of trouble too, Adam. You know, marriage is grand, but divorce can be up to 500 grand. Yeah, so and most times they don't just take half, they like to take it all. You know, Amy always tells me all the time, we ever split up, you ain't got to worry about it. I'm taking all. And the fact she's a mortician, I, I kind of believe her. But Maggie, you're probably wondering why I'm giving you these kinds of pieces of advice and what this got to do with you and Adam. So I guess I'll break it down to you. And to be honest with you, I was very uh, flattered. Never done this before, but here it goes. So you got to listen real close because I got a very important question for you. And no, it's not do you love Adam because obviously you do or you want to be with him. He's already told me he's tough and Tarzan feet and slick and snot on smash bananas. And told me he looked so good he could make a bulldog take a dirt road on Sunday afternoon. So I, I guess that's why you're with him. But, listen to the words coming out of my mouth. Adam wants to know if you will marry him. Yes, I'm pausing so that you can hug him and kiss him and give him an answer. And even cry if you'd like to. Now what I'm hoping is the answer that you just gave Adam will be the same as the answer to these questions. Questions like, do fat puppies hate fast cars? Or is a pig front made out of pork? Or do rattlesnakes kiss gently? Maybe does a one-legged duck swim in a circle? Or does a three-eyed dog love to be in a hubcap factory? Uh, questions like, does Shirley got a temple? Or does Elmo got red balls? Which the emphatic answer to all of those questions should be a resounding yes. So at this point, I'm hoping that's what happened. Because if not, both of you have run out of the room. He's upset. You're crying. Y'all driving your cars away. He's going to his mama's. You're going to a bar. And life is really going to change. But if you did say yeah, I want to give you some advice. Some real advice. There's two things I've learned since I've been married that have really helped me when I get upset. Because, you know, like I said, there's always somebody wrong and it's always me. But one thing you need to know about marriage is you'll never make a horse stronger by taking a saddle off. Remember that. 
and over the next couple of years think about that. You can't make a horse stronger by taking a saddle off. And eventually you'll figure that one out. And the other one is even a dog knows the difference in being stepped on and kicked. Even a dog. Remember that one too. If you learn the secret to those two Ronisms, you'll have a great basis for marriage. Put God first, family second, everything else third. And you'll make it. I hope that you see it, Jess. I hope y'all seeing something back. Let me know on Twitter or Facebook or something. I hope you call me back up and your video you say yeah, and maybe I can use both these videos on the website because I think it'd be real funny. And in four or five months, if you said no, send me that video too. I'll use that one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that that would that was probably wrong, but you know, it is funny. But anyway, there you go. I hope you have a grand life. For the record, I do do weddings. I am an ordained evangelist. You can call my office and Heather will hook you up. Just like a chicken to a freight train. If I tell you it can be done, you better make the phone call. Anyway, Adam, Maggie, best of luck. Hope she said yes. If she didn't, remember. Well, if she did, I'm a pastor, evangelist. I can marry you. But if she didn't, remember. Amy's a mortician. She can marry you. Just for the record, man. Take care, man. Get licked.